Okay, I'm uh, Major General Anasi Chole, the District uh, Commissioner of Eburuleni. Next to me is the CPF Chairperson of uh, Don Park. We are here today, as you know, that on Thursdays uh, in the whole province we are having Ogai Mulao. So as a district, we decided to come and assist Don Park in terms of assisting them in fighting crime. Don Park has got a challenge. The reason that we are here is because Don Park has got a challenge in terms of uh, trio crimes. The very same spot that we are standing at, as you can see, we're having a roadblock. This is the spot that uh, most of the our car hijackings and truck hijackings are taking place. So actually we started with our operations yesterday where our detectives uh, arrested uh, suspects during their tracing operation. As we are standing here uh, currently, the successes that we have in the roadblock, our traffic department, as you can see, that the operation is integrated. They have uh, impounded 13 taxis uh, for uh, issues of operating licenses, and those 13 taxis have been taken to their uh, 13 stop pound. We have, they have also issued um, fines to the value of 65. Uh, thousand and uh, with our VCIU members they have managed to confiscate one vehicle which shows that a, a, an engine has been tampered with it's a Toyota test it has been tampered with and it has been also impounded as we speak and we are also having our home affairs in the operation and they are currently processing 27 uh, illegal uh, undocumented uh, persons and we have arrested two suspects while we were busy here in the roadblock uh, we arrested two suspects with uh, they are having a police reflector jacket and they are not uh, police officials and we have also recovered from their vehicle black stones which we are still going to verify with our mining industry but you, you can see that the way that they have wrapped it, it shows that there is something with those stones, but we are still going to verify uh, those stones. At this stage, we are detaining them in relation to the police reflector jacket that they are having. And uh, while we are here at the roadblock, there are other teams that are also operating on the ground in Don Park. Our team, which is uh, checking the liquor compliance, has already closed three illegal shippings and our team which is focusing on the drugs has arrested three suspects for possession of dacha and one suspect for dealing in drugs and they found crystal meth as well as a mandrax in their possession the day is still very young we will be operating in don park even though i won't indicate up until what time but i can uh, assure you that today we are going to flood the area of Don Park and make sure that the people of Don Park feel safe and we are going to deal with the issue of crime. And our members are also focusing on the hotspot areas that are contributing towards crime in Don Park. Uh, uh, General, uh, I, I, I'm not sure if you are aware that there is uh, maybe bodies that are continuously found here around in, in, in Villa Lisa at Windmill Park. So uh, what's your plan towards that? Yeah, we, we, we are aware, I think it is not the first time that bodies are being recovered here in Don Park. And it will seem that um, these people are being murdered somewhere and they are being dumped here in the area of Don Park. However, the station commander and also with the district, we are having an intervention plan in place where we also need to continuously patrol those areas where these bodies are, are, are dumped so that we can we can deal with this murderers but i can assure you that there is a plan and as you can see the chairperson next to me uh, the chairperson of cpf they are also assisting us in terms of talking to the community trying to get information from them uh, maybe we can get information as to who uh, is behind the dumping of these bodies or whether these people are being killed within the area of Don Park and dumped in that in, in those open spaces. But we do have a planning place uh, to 
try and deal with this issue of the bodies that are being dumped in that park. So, uh, okay, obviously you have hosted this this operation, Okaim Lao. So when are you going to uh, host another one? I'm not gonna say because we don't. Once we say, then you know, it gets to the ears of the criminals. It's just uh, surprise operations. Uh, but I can assure you that we will definitely again come back in Don Park. It is not the first time that we are coming to Don Park because when we look at our crime statistics, Don Park seems to be a problem in relation to crime. So we will definitely come. And the next operation, if I can indicate, it will be during the night. During the night. Oh, okay. Uh, Thanks for your time. Thank you.